So I'm looking at extracting product data from a supplier using this Google Sheet that I created. And it only works with a couple of suppliers as of today's date. Uh, but in the future, I will add more. And uh, right now, I'm going to go ahead and show you the first main supplier that it works with, which is Zorro.com. And if you go to a actual page with products on it, for instance, if I were to click on this link, that would be your starting point to go to an actual page with products. And if you look at this products page, I do just want to show you quickly the bottom that you do have uh, 90 pages of products. Okay, 90 pages of actual products under this category. Now, what I'm going to do is take this URL, copy it, bring it to the Google Sheet, paste it, and then I will click on extract product data. All right. Now, uh, I'll just give it a moment to do its thing. And what it's doing is it's actually grabbing the whole page um, of products at once. So that does just take a moment for it to do. So we do need to just wait for that for a moment. Now, meanwhile, uh, well, here's the data. I was going to say, meanwhile, um, this is very similar to using a Chrome extension like Instant Data Scraper, which can scrape the products on your page. And then you can use the, the next button to allow it to keep moving through the pages, right, to change the pages. But um, what I like about using this is that I'm already in Google Sheets, so the data is already in Google Sheets, so it saves me that extra step of having to download the CSV from the Chrome extension and then bring it over to Google Sheets, right? I'm already in Google Sheets, okay? Uh, with the data in a format, that works, right? Because that's another issue here. When we scrape um, with the Chrome extension, of course, we get uh, these different columns and things like that, right? But of course, the Chrome extension is still great, and that is still the way I'm able to scrape most uh, products for most websites. Again, this system currently uh, only working with a couple suppliers, right? Now, as you can see, it not only does it grab the page in front of you, it also moves through the pages, so you can see um, the links to other pages that it's picking up, right? Page two, page three, so you get in all these uh, products on other pages, and it will continue if I allow it. Um, onto a large number of pages and I'm going to cancel it just to stop it uh, because I do want to demonstrate other things okay so that was about five pages it probably didn't finish five because I canceled it uh, but what I want to show you is that you can skip to a particular page so again remember um, that there are about 90 pages here and so you can skip for instance to page 50 simply by typing the number 50 after go to page and then you click on go to page and it changes this URL to that page. If you open this URL, you can actually see that it is, in fact, page 50 of the uh, socket sets results. Okay, and I'm going to go back to this and uh, then click on extract product data. And it remembers where it left off. It always remembers. So do not disturb this because what it is doing is it, it's basically writing down the last row where it left off. So it doesn't know where it left off. And so it will continue from where I left off uh, if you give it a moment and it will pull up product data now from page 50 because I decided to go to page 50. It always tells you the URL that it is about to do in this cell. All right. So it actually did 50. It's done with 50. Right. And now it's, it's already moved on to page 51. All right. So I'll just let it do 51 and then I'll stop it again. Um... Yeah, I'll let it do 51, and then I'll stop it. Okay, in fact, I'm just going to cancel it, right? Because we got the idea. I mean, I wanted to show you that it does keep moving. Okay, good, it did it, right? I want you to see that it kept that it keeps going, okay? 51, 52. Now, um, the other thing is that you can move these page numbers uh, as well, like if you want to go next page. And what it does, it changes the page here. On the URL, now it becomes page 51. If you click Next right so you can do that as well if you just want to move your URL around between the pages right, you can go back to 50 here um, but of course you can also just do that with go to page but it's just another option to go back and forth and basically at this point um, when you're done you would export the results 
and let me see how the results come out on the export sheet and just wait for it and right it basically just copies the data okay so you see all the data is copied over right product IDs URL brand product title model number price lead time okay lead time was just added on this version so this is a very well organized data set you can download this to a CSV you can copy and paste it okay you can do all kinds of stuff you can take this copy to a new spreadsheet if you want and then open up that spreadsheet file and that will be a separate spreadsheet file so you have all those different options now the main reason why I want a list of products is so that I can use it with my supplier to Amazon matcher to automatically find these products on Amazon for me so what I will do is actually take this product data from here and in this case, I'll just click right across these column headings, click and drag, right click copy to copy this data. And then I'll go over to the supplier to Amazon Matcher, go to the IDS CSV, and I will just right click and paste that data. All right, it might just take a moment to paste because sometimes that's how Google Sheets is. So now that the data is pasted, Normally, what I would have to do is go to columns map and create a columns map for data for that supplier. But in this case, the data is not coming from a supplier, actually. It's coming from a tool that I created, which is the products extractor. So I created a columns map for that already called product extractor, which will just connect these uh, or relate these headings to the headings on the sheet. So basically, all I have to do here is select product extractor from this supplier map and then click import instant data scraper CSV and it will put the data where it belongs in the sheet all right and once I do that then I can run the Amazon matching process I have videos where I've demonstrated um, this whole tool in completion but I just wanted to, sh to mention that the reason why I'm extracting this product data over here on this tool is really so that I can use it here so I can automatically find these products on Amazon in bulk rather than doing it manually all right now um, since I've already ex uh, exported some data here from this I might very well just want to clear that product data so I'll click clear product data and it will clear out the data on the sheet okay these things remain so you can delete whatever's here as well by hand um, this will change once it starts doing another URL so I don't worry about that okay just leave everything else right only thing you should really be changing is go to page if you're going to use that and the URL right nothing else needs to be modified here ever right uh, I just do want to show you uh, well first of all let's see if that data came in so we do see that that data came in to this tool right so we have the brand titles model number URLs and prices usually take a little longer to come in than everything else so those will come in last but I do want to show you that you can also it also works with farm and fleet so um, I kind of need like a category page however Let's see if I can find one on farm and fleet so I'll go back to all departments home basics whatever household cleaners doesn't matter it's just a demo a demo right now and I will take a URL from here. Remember, the page has to have products on it, right? On it, which we do. So now I'm going to put that in here for the URL. And I'm just going to go ahead and extract product data. Now, one thing about Farm and Fleet is that it seems to have some connectivity issues uh, when connecting to it from Google Sheets. So sometimes you might have to click that extract product data a uh, second time. And a lot of times you'll get this, and this is the result of it coming up empty with empty data. So you'll see that some of the products come out, and then you'll see that uh, with data, and some don't. Now, I haven't programmed it to get any lead time, from, and I don't think it gives you lead time. Um, farm and Fleet, I'm not sure. I'll have to check. So it doesn't get do lead time uh, from Farm and Fleet right now, but um, it should at least be able to get the other data, right? So basically, with Farm and Fleet, okay, you're going to have like some that come up empty. But 
It doesn't mean that this product is always going to come up empty. It just means at that moment, it could not connect. So if you run this again, the same page, the next time you might get this product, actually, you will get the product data for this product. So the best thing to do if you're going to use this for farm and fleet is you're just going to filter out the things that are not coming out. So you could always just go like price um, and what you would do, turn off the blanks. Okay, use the filter. Okay, so the blanks are off and then click OK. So this way it only leaves you. So you're not going to get as many products as quickly as you'll get with Zorro. But it's still giving you product data in bulk. And you can copy and paste this product data as well, just the same way. All right, you can copy and paste it um, or export it or whatever. And I mean, so not as good as it is with Zorro, but again, that's it's not the programming, it's actually Farm and Fleet itself, just for some reason, uh, has connectivity problems through Google Sheets for whatever reason. Uh, it just doesn't connect well. But um, you can still get some products out of it. Right, so right now it works best with Zorro, works uh, with Farm and Fleet, but has some connectivity, but you can still get some uh, products, not as many at a time as Zorro. Um, and then you definitely want to take your data over to the supplier Amazon Matcher. And then on the supplier Amazon Matcher, you can hit find all Amazon URLs once you get this data in here. And um, it does start to find URLs for these products. This uh, is my newest version of the Amazon Matcher, version 3.3. Um, and is now a global version, meaning that I've programmed it in a way that it can recognize um, website domains from all the different uh, or a lot more different Amazon um, regions. So not just the U.S., Canada, Mexico, Australia, United Kingdom. Uh, I believe I've got what France on there. Um, OK, so U.S., Canada, Mexico, Australia, United Kingdom, I believe France, Germany and Spain is what I have so far. And can let me know if there's another one that you want. All right, so if you look at this list, you'll see uh, some di all the different countries I have on here, and it can recognize domains from those countries. But you have to give it supplier titles uh, from suppliers that are really, you know, from that country to, so that it can actually find results from. See how this works? This video is not about the supplier Amazon Matcher. I have separate videos on that, but uh, basically, what it does is it matches products. Right, so you might say, take this product for instance, which is on Zorro, and then here's a product on Amazon, and then you compare it to see if it's it, if it is in fact the same product, right? Twenty six piece ratchet and socket set, right? SAE four eight two two uh, nine four zero four model number, and yes, they are in fact the same product. So you see, the matcher automatically found this Amazon link. I didn't have to do it manually, right? And that's how it works um, in general. Okay, so anyway, that is it for this. Uh, go ahead and pick yourself up a copy of the supplier products extractor, um, which right now specifically mainly for Zorro. But again, I'm adding more suppliers with time, so you'll be able to use it with more suppliers. And then definitely um, take it over to the supplier Amazon Matcher and Profit Calculator. So start with this, see how it works. And then see if you want to go ahead and take that data over to the supplier Amazon Matcher. Get pick yourself up a copy of this Google Sheet so that you can automatically source products. Watch the tutorial video, which should be linked, which will be linked in the side of this actual system, or you can find it on my channel. Or, um, but you'll 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 get somehow you'll get a link to the video. I'm sure. Check the links in general um, in the description of this video for anything else that might be useful to you. And I'm Mr. Mark Zixel for Amazon Dropshipping. Look forward to hearing from you or seeing you around on the channel.